today's video, I'm gonna be revealing how to find a career you'll love, how to find more jobs that are right for you, and how to do it in less time without having to have dozens of informational interviews and without having to wait for an idea to come to you in your sleep because who has time for that so if you want to find a career you'll love find more jobs that are right for you then you're definitely going to want to stay until the very end of this video because i'm breaking it all down step by step and each one of these tips build on each other and so you're going to want to know every one of those tips so that you can save time and figure out that next career move so that you can get it so let's jump right in but before we do i of course have to tell you what you should not do when it comes to finding that next career or job that you're gonna love you do not want to just start throwing your resume out there and hoping that something sticks please do not do that you are only going to find yourself if anything in a new job with the same problems or wasting months and months without making any progress in your job search i always say you don't want to run from something you want to run towards something and too many professionals make the mistake of just running from one job to the next without even really thinking about what they really want you have to be able to get to the root of what you want to change so that you can be able to land a new job that actually aligns with what you're looking for next here are some questions that you should ask yourself. What's making you unhappy in your career right now? When it comes to this question, you need to consider the work that you do, where you work, and the type of company that you work for. Next, you wanna ask yourself, when do you remember being the most excited about the work you were doing, the projects you were working on, or even the people that you were around? What type of environment do you see yourself thriving in the most when it comes to the next step in your career? What type of company would you be proud or excited to say that you work for? And what does that company do? Who do they serve? Do they have products? Do they work with clients? What are they doing that makes you feel excited about the work that you're gonna be helping them to accomplish? After you've asked yourself those hard questions and got to the nitty gritty of them all, then you wanna then take time to window shop. And the truth is, window shopping is exactly how it sounds. But instead of shopping for clothes, it's the art of shopping for jobs without the pressure to apply right away. It's a concept I teach my students and clients that helps them go beyond just reading a job description to truly analyzing it to discover if it's the right fit for them. It forces you to take a deeper look at what's out there in a fun way so that you're not just applying and just throwing yourself out there, but you're really taking inventory of what is out there and what are your options so that you're able to make an informed decision about the right next step for you. And fortunately for you, if you're serious about getting clear on what that next step should look like for you in your career, I have a mini course where I walk you through practical strategies with workbooks and guides and cheat sheets that you can use to start to narrow in on what that next step should look like for you so that you actually save time. If you are really dedicated to really getting clear on what you like to do next, you can use this mini course to get clear on what you wanna do in days instead of weeks and months that it typically takes other people to get clear on their next career move. If that sounds like what you need, then the link is below for you to get started. Here's the thing that you have to know. There are an abundance of jobs companies and careers out there for you that you just probably have never even heard of. And I know this because it happens to my clients all the time. They take the time to window shop and before you know it, they discover roles that they didn't even know were out there that align with their expertise and exactly what they're looking to do next. One of my clients in particular wanted to go from nonprofit to for profit, but she had no idea what her options were. It wasn't until she took the time to window shop that she discovered that she actually could use her nonprofit experience in a consulting capacity. She used the window shopping techniques to get clear on the type of roles that were available for her, and she ended up getting a role at a consulting firm that allows her to use her expertise to work with nonprofit clients. Taking a step back to get clear on what's out there for you without just jumping in head first allows you to be more proactive, strategic, and intentional with your next career move. After you take some time to window shop and get a really good idea of what else is out there and what you want to do next in your career, you then need to identify your sweet spot. So if you're curious, your sweet spot is where your expertise and your interests meet. 
needs. Getting clear on your sweet spot is key to actually getting hired because it's not just enough to know what you wanna do next, you also need to make sure that you can be successful at what you wanna do next and that you can excel and get hired for it. So for example, maybe you realize that you're ready to move from HR to communications and from window shopping, you discovered that you really do love media relations and internal communications. But when you're honest with yourself, you know that you don't really have that much relevant media relations experience to help you get hired. But you do have more transferable experience that's gonna help you get hired for an internal communications role. If that's the case, you probably should just go after the internal communications position because you'll have a better chance of positioning yourself as a top candidate, which will increase your chances of getting hired for a role that you'll still enjoy. The great thing is that when you take the time to discover your sweet spot where your expertise and your interests meet, you'll probably discover that you don't even have to take a step back in your career to move into the next career that you'll love. I know we've been taught that you should do informational interviews and you should you know, just let things come Come to you and try different strength finders tests and all of the different things that people think you need to do to get clear but honestly getting clear on what you want to do next in your career does not have to be overwhelming and super complicated if you're willing to slow down to speed up you'll quickly discover clarity and a sense of confidence when it comes to pursuing that next career and finding the jobs that are right for you and if you want even more help getting clear on that next career move for you then you're going to definitely wanted to look into my standout starter kit. This is my mini course where I walk you through exactly how to get clear on that next career move for you in less time than it'll take you on your own. And I'm giving you guides, workbooks, cheat sheets, and so many things you can use to help you get clear on that next career move without stressing yourself out. We've seen students go through the standout starter kit in just two days, finish it, and get more clarity than they got on their own in months. So I know that if you take the time to go through this and it doesn't even have to take that much time, you'll be able to get even more clarity than you probably have been able to get over the last few months in your career. And if you're grabbing this and I start a kit, leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to celebrate you on your journey of getting even more clear on the right next step for you in your career. And in my next video, I'll be sharing how to spot a toxic work environment before you start. So many people think that you have to wait until you start the job to discover if you're working in a toxic work environment, but I'm gonna help you figure that out before you even say yes to the job. So if you know that you want to learn those tips, don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell so you don't miss out on that video. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it because I would love for this video to reach so many more amazing people just like you. And in the meantime, if you wanna watch more videos on how to stand out and get hired, then you can enjoy my other videos here.